Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen. And before we get into today's video newsletter, I'd like to offer you a free Demaic guide that you can go to now and download using the link in the video description below. So before you watch today's video, click on the link and get your free guide now. Welcome to the latest video. And in this video newsletter, what we're going to do is we're going to answer the query that someone's left in a comment on one of my other YouTube videos. And it's about design of experiment choice. Okay, so Mohammed, design of experiments choice. And he posed a particular problem to me and said, what DOE would you use? And the particular problem basically went like this. He said, I have five variables which are genuinely variable. So they are on a scale and I can be anywhere along the scale. So I've got five variables, but I've got one which is categorical. In other words, it's red, green and blue or it's supplier one and it's supplier two. There is no, there is no scale to this. So that was the first part of the challenge. The second part of the challenge though, was the output is definitely not linear. In other words, we have some kind of curve that we have to deal with. Okay, so that's the, that's the, the question. Which DOE, which DOE would uh, you use? And what I said to him was, well, my particular choice in this situation would be the Taguchi L18. Why the L18? Well, seven variables can go in the L18. Seven of these. So it meets this one, okay? Also, one variable can be at two levels. In other words, it can be categorical, driver one versus driver two. So the first column of the L18 is just at one and two levels, and therefore you can put the categorical variable in there. Now, if, if the categories were three levels, red, green, and blue, Personally, what I would do is use one of these columns. I wouldn't use the first column. I'd use one of the other columns. And I would still use the, the categories, even though it's going into one of the columns, which the, would be allocated to a variable normally. Now, one last thing about the L18. The L18 is, it's really just a screening DOE. So when you do the analysis, you're going to use factorial or marginal means plots only. So it's a very simple analysis. As the name suggests, it's just 18 setups. I would repeat each setup twice. So I'd end up with a sample size of 36. So we end up with 36 samples, which of course is a great sample size if the data is variable data, not pass fail data. If the data is variable data, 36 is a great sample size. It is a screening DOE. What would I then do? I would identify four most important factors and then I would model using the central 
composite design central composite so i'm going to end up doing two doe's here mohammed we're going to do a screening doe then we're going to model now in your question you did say i want to model this and this too much you can't model highly uh, a high dimensional space like that there's too many variables otherwise you would be doing thousands and thousands of experiments in order to create that model this way you'll do 18 here and i think what you'll do is another 26 here so what's that 30 it's about 50 you you're gonna have to do about 50 setups to figure this out but as i always tell people these are the cheapest 50 setups you're ever going to do because once you've got this right your machine is going to be going fastest cheapest with the best quality you'd want to just use 50 setups to figure that out wouldn't you i mean it's the obvious thing to do so mohammed doe screening then modeling with a central composite design it's the most efficient way to find out the maximum about your process given the problem that you have and if you do that man alive your business is going to make more money